gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Crane, for his questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this hearing today. Thank you guys for coming. I want to especially thank uh, Dr. Fu and Mr. Freedom um, for your leadership and courage on this issue. I know it can't be easy to do that. And I hope that Americans that are watching this, I mean, a lot of Americans, Mr. Freedom, look up to you because you play, you were good at basketball and God blessed you with, you know, height and skill and all that. But I hope Americans watching this really appreciate your courage because you're one of the few that actually is willing to set aside their own personal career and their ability to gain, you know, resources and fame and all that for something bigger. So thank you for doing that. Now I wanna ask you guys some serious questions. Neither of you guys were born here, Dr. Fu or Mr. Freedom, right? You guys weren't born here in America, but you came here to this country, right? Hoping to you know, maybe have a better life. Is that, would you, would you say that? Thank you. Um, Mr. Uh, Freedom, why, did you ever think that when you came to the United States of America, you'd see Chinese spy balloons flying over the country? Definitely not. Did you think that you, you, or this is for you too, Dr. Fu, did you think you would encounter this type of repression um, from the Chinese Communist Party? You, did you think it'd be allowed here in the United States of America? Definitely not. It was very surreal, even when those people showed up um, in West Texas. I remember some of our cowboys are trying to work something out, but our church actually encouraged yeah. uh, to, 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 to give them water. Uh, to love them yeah. uh, instead. Um, but this is very surreal. I think, yeah, um, I bet. We, yeah. We, Mr. Freedom, why do you think it's allowed here? Why do you think, this, why do you think it's, we allow Chinese police stations here in the United States of America? Why do you think you see Chinese spy balloons flying over the U.S.? Why do you think individuals like you and Dr. Fu are oppressed here as American citizens? The more I research, the more I realize NBA is not the only one. I mean, you see Hollywood, Wall Street, academias, big tech, you know, um, Wall Street, many of them is pretty much is partly controlled by the Chinese government because of money. Money. That's right. That's what it is, isn't it, sir? It's not just the NBA. Not the NBA, no. It's, it's, do you, both of you guys count on the United States government to some extent for your own protection. Is that correct? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Money. Does it bother either of you guys? And you guys are both truth tellers mm -hmm. and it, you guys have a lot of courage to be here, but I'm gonna take it one step further. Does it bother either of you guys that this current administration and the family of this current administration has taken money, millions of dollars from the CCP? Does that bother you, Mr. Freedom? Does it concern you? Yes, of course. Dr. Fu, does it concern you? Of course it's very concerning. Um, this is a just a, a reflection of how the CCP's uh, um, effort uh, for years, it's not just uh, for, you know, in the past few years, but um, I just feel it's uh, very concerning to see when a group of dissidents, you know, welcoming the Taiwan president in, in Manhattan, on the street of Manhattan in New York, and uh, five were beaten violently and sent to hospital by the Chinese government hired thugs on our soil, and so far no one is being held accountable. Yeah, that's interesting. One. Why? Dr. Fu, do you think that um, we have the Hunter Biden laptop, which has all sorts of, you know, very, you know, disturbing information, photographs, text messages, emails on it. Do you think that CCP might have their own copy, their own information on the president's son, Mr. Freedom? Of course, not only him, but whoever is using TikTok. Yes, they have all their information. Yeah, yeah, that's a million people. That's interesting. Um, Mr. Freedom, are you, are you uh, familiar, aware of the fact that Hunter Biden, James Biden, Sarah Jones Biden, Haley Biden, Kathleen Buell, Melissa Cohen, Hunter Biden's current wife, two children of Joe Biden's sons, Joe Biden's brother's child have all received money that was, uh, that was doled out from, that, that originated from uh, foreign countries? I know some of it, but I didn't know the whole thing. Yeah, we, do, are either of you familiar with the term elite capture? Elite capture? No. That's where a foreign country uses money and other things to influence and often co-opt high-ranking 
officials? Are you guys familiar with that? Well, I, will, I actually had a, tried to have a meeting with President Biden and, and also someone from his administration, and I got turned down every time. Imagine uh, the that. The government put a bounty on my head, actually, and I was like, I'm a U.S. citizen, and a foreign government is doing it in U.S. soil. This is unacceptable, and I would like to talk to my president or someone from the administration. Uh, one of the senator who's a Democrat said, this is not going to happen because, unfortunately, the president is scared of Erdogan because of Erdogan is a NATO ally, and he doesn't want to piss him off. Well, the last thing I want to say, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for giving me extra time. Again, thank you, guys. What you are doing is monstrously courageous, and I, we appreciate you guys, and I think it's pathetic that you've come here to the United States, and this is what the country has turned into. So thank you guys for doing what you're doing.